Yeah. So my name is Dr. Piyush Kumar Chaube, and I teach political science as an optional subject. So uh, just few questions from my side before I start. So you guys have started preparation for civil services 2024 or you have already done your journal studies and now you're looking for optional something like that or you have like plan here will appear in 2025 most of the candidates are from 24 and you guys have done your journal studies and all and now just for optional are this year is a preparation year whole entire year is a preparation year And how many of you have a political science in your graduations? Few of them. Fine. Okay, guys. Let's understand few very basic things. Normally, UPSC has a pattern that there should be optional. So, we choose optional. And most of the students choose optional. I believe that under the influence, okay, Somebody has chosen, some of my senior has taken X subject, so I have taken X subject. Or some other reasons. So there is importance of your optional subject in your civil service preparation. So if you are able to understand, then you will be able to understand how important this optional subject is. You all are aware, I mean, I will just, just give you a brief timeline. You all are aware in general studies, the total time frame for uh, coaching is around 10 to 12 months or 10 plus minus 2 months. Al almost 2.5 months for every general studies part is there. And anyone who can work hard in general studies, if you see the score of past year toppers. Most of the student in general studies for one subject they score around 100 maybe plus minus 10-15 marks. I am talking about average. So technically, technically you will find out and if you take it 10 months then in 5 months one can score around 200 plus minus 15-20. When we look into optionals, total marks 500 and when it comes to the scoring and I will talk about PSIR, there are a range of the scoring, those who are into the service I am talking about 270 to 328 and 329. If you can spend around five to six months, this timeline is equally important because the total mark is 500. Here, the total mark for journal studies is 500. So you can compare it. For two papers of journal studies, you need to prepare five months. The similar time has to be given to political science, five to six months, and the, your score is B over here. So this subject not only help you in your selection, in fact, making of your rank. You can check out all those who have qualified earlier. The main reason for their top rank is always there, always, most of them, optional score. In fact, you can find a lot of people who score average or below average in even in GS, but just because of optional, they are into that. So, two things you need to keep in your mind. Optional has to be chosen very carefully to ensure your selection as well as rank. But the key is there, preparation of that. This preparation has to be within the time frame of max six months. So if you are suppose giving more than six months, eight months, nine months, so it, it become you are investing as equal to the GS. What it means? You are moving into the next cycle. The cycle of preparation for a student, those who qualify, 
is, is never go beyond or it should not go beyond 10 to 12 months. So if you extend it timeline either of the GS or your optional you are moving, going to move into the next circuit. That is why, why preparation a proper strategy has to be chalked out. Time you can decide, ki, okay, you are going to prepare or optional either in May or June or in September, that could be. But the maximum time one can give, that is this. So, and the score is around this. Now, imagine, if a subject having a convergence with the general studies too. Suppose, one paper of even a general studies is there you can find how that subject is going to save your time. By reading one optional, suppose you are able to complete just 50 or 60 percent of your journal studies too. I am not talking in terms of marks, I am talking about in terms of time. How much time you are going to save it. That is why choosing an optional is required lot of, lot of discussion and strategy. Without it, randomly going for any optional with rarely work. Look, if you have studied this subject earlier and you are choosing this, you are only in advantage in terms of that you know about the subject. But those are freshers who never studied this, any subject and now they have to choose a, another optional subject, they need to strategize it. So just merely in the influence of someone or uh, it is just because senior has taken, or uh, it is just because some big newspaper ads are there, some good articles are there. Choosing the optional better, properly strategize and choose your optional. This may help you a lot. So my point is just, final point is simply, take an optional where you can complete it in six months. Second, you should be able to score 270, somewhere more than 300 plus. If it is there, then it makes sense that in first attempt, you will be into the service. Now, there is a range of the optional subjects are there. And, I mean, I am not saying a subject is good or bad. I am simply saying that, which subject is fit your in strategy. This is the most important time. As I am teacher of political science, so when I talk about why one should go for PSAR, why this subject should be taken. So first I am going with the simple data and basic ideas. One of the basic reason ki why one should go for this subject, there is a very basic and easy reason is if you look into marks, as I say, one can easily score around 270 to 300 plus. I mean, maybe you, na you know name of lot of toppers. If I will say some of my old students like Risha Mandal, Asif Tanvi, they all score around 325, 328. And the most important part was that none of them was having political science as a background. Technically, they all were engineers and they are able to score this much. So this is one of the reason average score in this subject you can easily identify somewhere move around this. Average score means those who are here for mains, their scoring range, average. I'm not talking about those who are only making score of 300. Average score is this much of high. If you put little bit more effort, you can easily move to this range. This is one of the important reasons. There is another reason. If you look out for UPSC old data, UPSC ne 2017 tak ka data release kiya hai. 2019 tak ka data release kiya. Let me give the number of selections with the subjects. In 2019, 137 candidates with the political science. 218, 107, and 217-117. And the seat on this year was around 896, around 800, around 900 to 950. Almost 15% plus, 
15 percent plus candidate recommended candidate i'm talking about come from this subject so this is all about going with logic which optional one has to take basically and this is what i'm talking about the data which is available over there so in this way you can think of for psr but this is not i mean this is good reason but that is not enough reason there are some additional reasons which we'll discuss and then we'll come for how we can score one of the important or another important reason i would say ki why one should go for political science that is convergence with general studies is convergence with general studies normally when we prepare for general studies so we remember general studies like this in general studies there is a history there is a geography we look at it and we never try to create a strategy ki how along with our optional we can complement your general studies look guys many subjects you can find there is a overlapping subjects but it is not going to get i mean you are not going to get benefit until unless you properly strategize it okay how you can strategize it i'm talking about suppose when we are talking about when when in psir if you are going to study suppose igp section if during that section if you can match it with your gs2 preparation then you will realize that ki how both are complementing that is why i ask the entire year is ahead in front of you so how you can channelize how you can match your general studies preparation with your optional subject so once i mean rather than reading random so when your igp section is going on at that time if you try to look into your general studies part 2 then you find lot of things are converging and complementing you are studying basics from any of the basic book of the constitution and the main content you can easily find easily find in your igp then you'll find that in one shot your prelims plus mains both of the preparation get completed so convergence is not enough convergence plus the way you strategize this is one example i said that there is a huge conver convergence of optional subject in gs specifically you can find in gs2 the entire ir section entire polity section and many other topics apart from that when it come to the gs part i guess gs1 if i say have you seen the gs1 syllabus you broadly know history if i say in there there is a topic mention communism in gs1 there is a topic mention socialism there is a topic mention regionalism there is a topic mention secularism these are the specific topic mention in your gs paper 1 now see the political science syllabus whatever the topic i have said you can direct find a convergence over there i mean communism we are basically talking about in terms of karl marx so either if you are not having political science as a subject you have a very simple general knowledge about it you have a optional so all these top topic you need not to prepare prepare karne ki zarurat hi nahi padne wali because you have already prepared just giving one more thing if you see in your ethics paper there is a one topic moral thinkers and indian thinkers please see the syllabus and if you see some of the ethics questions i guess 3 years back they directly ask a question on rawls theory of justice this rawls theory of justice in your political science but the most important aspect of it is what strategy when you are studying gs1 when you are studying uh, uh, western political thinker and thoughts then if you can connect few of things your ethics part then it will become easy for you then it is going to complement hum isko alag padhte hain isko alag padhte hain sochte hain convergence se kaam kyon nahi aa raha wo kaam is tarah se karta hai ki it become easy to understand when in your ethics paper you are discussing about aristotle or you are discussing about uh, uh, plato's ethical ideas you can grasp it easily but if you can prepare two three things along that then it is going to be consolidate your preparation in a similar way jaise aap gs paper 3 mein jaate hain 
you will find there is a one more thing written. One topic has been written, border issue and border areas. And in IR section, whenever you study South Asia, India-Pakistan border issue, India-Nepal border issue, India-Bangladesh issue, water issues, this is what we have studied. And that is all part of your internal security. So again, if you try to, you know, connect all these things, it will make a lot of sense to you. Then only you are, be, you are going to be able to save your, what I was talking about, the time of 2.5 months along with your pre as well as consolidated mains preparation. So why PSIR? You can find out apart from the technical reason. The other reason is that it has a huge convergence with the GS, but this benefit can be taken once you strategize it properly. Now, if you go to your essay part, please check out essay from last four or five years. There's a lot of topics related to your PSAR. Interviews are going on. Check any of the transcript, randomly any of the transcript. Maximum question in interview is national issues or international issues. I mean, not only PSAR. I find a lot of candidates who are not having PSIR optional. They have been asked, what should be the Indian strategy to deal with the Ukraine crisis? Do you agree with the Indian stand in Ukraine crisis? What do you think that hey, Russia is a better strategic ally or US is a better strategic ally? Now, such questions has been asked for those who are not having PSIR optional. Now, how PSIR help you? These journal studies may be a part but you have to answer it in 30 seconds. You have to answer it in 40 seconds. That is where the catch lies. Interview me thodi 15 minute milta answer dene ke liye. If the board member asks you what should be the Indian stand in case of the Ukraine crisis, you cannot take one minute to think. You have to answer it within the time frame of 20-25 seconds. And that is only possible with the gist and right crux when this optional is there. Because when we are discussing India, Russia, or when discussing India, Ukraine, it is going to take time and it build up your concept. And then you pick up the points, ki, okay, this three point is India's stand in case of the Ukraine. So point is that starting from journal studies up to the interview, this subject has a very deep role. But again, preparation has to be strategize. Without that, you cannot get the maximum benefit out of that. Now, there is a one big dilemma to most of the students, specifically for those who are not having background as a subject. Whether we'll be able to complete this subject or not. I would say that this is the only subject. I'm saying only why I'm using this word only. I mean, there are a few more also. In that sense, a lot of things except paper one, you are familiar with. Okay, let's, let's uh, see with the example. When we talk about Indian government and politics, so if the discussion about caste, talk about secularism, talk about political parties, talk about relationship of political parties and, and caste, if I talk about uh, a collusion government, if I talk about uh, 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 pressure groups, I guess every and each one has a full of information over all these topics. So, karna kya hota hai isme? Suppose you know about what is basic knowledge of secularism. In optional subject, we identify these are the theories of sex, uh, this, uh, these are the theory of the secularism, and these are the thinkers of the secularism. Maybe you know that thought, but you do not know that which thinker has said our similar idea was there. Just organizing your existing knowledge and putting it into the certain theoretical framework will help you to prepare. This is what, as I said that, familiarity with the subject. Now, those who are not having the background, they easily prepare and they easily score. I mean, I don't need to say history is full of examples. Most of the students, those who score very high, few of them are having background and few, most of them are not having background. 
you can find that they prepare five, six, seven months and they are able to score 300, 300 plus. That simply means you should be able to know or understand basic content. You should be able to know the basic concept. Why political science? One, uh, one more important reason I would like to quote here. It is easy to understand. It is easy to understand. Without background also, one can understand. One more thing I would like to add here. A lot of people have in their mind that it is a social science, humanities subject is there. I have studied science, so I have studied more logical thing. Let me tell you, if somebody thinks that this subject is not logical, then I would say this is the biggest fault. In fact, those who are good in mugging, this subject is not for them. If somebody believes that they have a very good capacity of mugging, what subject? So, until unless you have an understanding, you won't be able to write it. You won't be able to write it. So, in nutshell, I would say that the subject is so, I mean, the subject is easy to understand without any background, you can study this subject and history is, is full of examples as I said about this one. So these are the reasons one can think of political science as optional as we discussed. You need not to have a background, there is scoring, ranking, everything fits in this. Now, when we come for this part, how one can score high? One, how one can score high in this subject. I will analyze it in a very different way. So it may help you to understand this subject because approach for every part of the subject should be different. Like everyone know in, in all of optional as well as in PR, PSAR there is two papers. Paper 1 Paper 1, Section A. This is related with Western political thinkers and political theories Indian political thinkers this may be you will find out division there is a ancient political thinkers and modern political thinkers This is three part. For every paper, for every section, approach to study cannot be uniform. And let me tell you, paper one and paper two is not much connected. It may be on a little line, but it is not paper one and paper two is not much connected. Paper two is more about international relations. Paper one is more about this Western political thinker theories and Indian political thinkers. When we talk about this part, Western political thinkers, I'm talking about the approach, guys. When we talk about Western political thinkers, political theories, Indian political thought, the most important aspect, the most important aspect of it, without reorganizing slavers, one should not study. This is another major problem. And you might have heard about one thing, ki political science as a subject is very vast and it, it, it can give a liberty to you that I will preparation for 10 This is incorrect. It is not at all vast. Definitely there are a lot of topic is there. But the reorganization of the subject is the key to study paper one. I repeat, reorganization of the slavers for paper one is a key. Now, how come this reorganization I am talking about? 
because if you see your first topic of your syllabus that is political science as a subject nature and scope defining theory and approaches to political science if i'll teach you in the first class ab to bore to honge hi honge and apart from that you'll see ki what the subject is there so first logical division of this subject is very much important so you can go with the timeline and concept intermixing it is something like that suppose if you take out two ancient thinker which is in your syllabus that is plato and aristotle now after this after this you cannot study again a new thinker without understanding guys some basic concepts this is thinker and ideology this is the sequence interesting part in syllabus ideology has been given in different topic concepts has been given in a different topic and thinkers are i guess second last topic is thinkers and i mean you have to start with the thinker and in your syllabus you can find it is in the second last mention now how these three things are connected maybe you haven't studied those who have background they'll be easy they they can understand it let me tell you suppose if you are studying if you are studying i mean if if we start with the thinker and i'm talking i am teaching about hobbes are as a thinker i am teaching about john locke so these guys are going to use lot of words there will be use of word like liberty there will be use of word like state or commonwealth that is why without understanding liberty whenever they use you may face certain problem <coughs> even in liberty there is a idea of negative liberty and there is a positive liberty even just think of that while teaching if i use this word okay john locke was a great supporter of negative liberty then your first question will be sir what is this negative liberty is so without talking about this moving into this it will be difficult and apart from that before moving into this a little bit background how the transition was going on and these thinkers come up now in ideology there is a ideology called liberalism and what locke said ideas of locke is the basis of the liberalism he is known as father of liberalism basically so if you know locke then you should be automatically knowing about liberalism so these thing these three things are very much connected so how we are going to study maybe we are studying what is classical liberalism knowing after this then we are studying locke so i'll say look locke's idea is resembling to the classic liberalism what locke is saying it is the exactly tenet of the classic liberalism then you will be easily going to connect it before that or during that i'll explain what exactly this liberty is there if in your syllabus if you check out these three topics are mentioned in three different topics ideology may be in six seven topic uh, this thinkers are maybe in 12 topic and these concept are midway somewhere six five six topic that is why reorganization of the syllabus is the most important thing not only to save your time but also develop a good conceptual good conceptual foundation for this paper 1 section 1 paper 1 section 1 key to score relatively high in this topic is your understanding is your understanding because whatever these thinkers has said 
that is the core and key idea and and let me tell you guys if i recommend the books you can read the books you can find them there but why the classes the most important aspect of understanding these thinkers and once you are conceptually clear about this then only you will be able to connect it with the contemporary ideas or with the contemporary examples you might have heard in topper stock also they say ki whenever we write we write we connect it to the modern thing modern examples how it is possible if you are not able to understand the basics so the paper 1 section 1 is in more form of lecture than less writing because it is purely a concept base it is purely a concept base here developing understanding is the key without this it may not work you know there are some student who are very good in mugging to so, kabhi kabhi jab mains likhte rehte hain to baat cheet hoti rehti hai to so, they they come and they say ki sir ye sawal pucha hops ka janta tha maine likh diya kya likha to hops ke bare mein jo bhi janta tha likh diya this is not going to work they ask very very precise and very particular questions statement ke question aur answer to chalo rat liya wo likh denge lekin the moment they ask about जैसे एक सवाल पूछा हुआ है पहले कि मे बी जिनका बैकग्राउंड नहीं है वो नहीं जानते होंगे जैसे कि हॉप्स का पॉलिटिकल ऑब्लिगेशन दिस क्वेश्चन हैज बीन आस्ड नाउ इसी क्वेश्चन को दोबारा ट्विस्ट करके पूछ दिया हॉप्स पॉलिटिकल ऑब्लिगेशन इज मॉरल एज वेल एज पॉलिटिकल तो आपने हॉप्स का पोलिटिकल ऑब्लिगेशन तो रटा हुआ है लेकिन ये मॉरल कैसे है और पोलिटिकल वो भी लिखा है उसमें बट यू डू नॉट नो हाउ टू ऑर्गेनाइज इट बट वंस यू अंडरस्टैंड इट कॉन्सेप्चुअली यू कैन राइट इट that is why paper 1 more emphasis should be on concept building and understanding that is what the key to score high in this part key to score high in this part normally for this part i mean uh, uh, my way of teaching like you can find for this section i go maximum part in form of lecture and micro notes now i'm saying lecture and micro notes means going to deliver a lecture on that and going to make you write inside the class but it is more in micro form which can be used for writing your you can say writing directly in part of as a part of answer but i also ensure that ki if someone is willing to go for a little bit more detail so this is booklet prepared by me only you can find out the little bit more detail thing has been also mentioned so if suppose you have something missed in the lecture you are not able to recall you are not able to recall with the micro notes refer the book that will complement it but the micro note is the most useful thing for you and let me tell you guys when you are writing means you will never get time to go through your book or your entire notes this micro notes are going to help you a lot which may be in form of two books or i mean two copies or maybe three copies of entire optional that then you will be able to revise it properly flip karna hota hai that is most of the lectures are going to be in form of pictures form pictorial forms ki usko bhi dekh ke aapko yaad aa jaye ho okay this is what the sequence is this because for this the key is understanding otherwise notes to hain ye but no, i can't guarantee it it is with this you are going to score high you need to understand this properly there are i mean i'm talking about how you can score high in this one now the second aspect of this specifically paper 1 section 1 how one can score high it's related to your choice of questions this is what we discussed during our class basically as i said here there is western political thought political theories indian political thinkers so first i say this ki there is theory versus thought थ्योरी वर्सेस थॉट का मतलब होता है 
if you have a choice to attempt a question related to theory or thought, which question should be preferred? Answer is always question related to theory. It is relatively more scoring when it comes to the thought. But again, we go with this idea ki humko kya aata hai jada achche se. This should be there. But if you know just before the preparation ki this is the key where I can go, where I can score high. Now why I am saying this theory is, is relatively uh, more scoring than the thought? The reason being is that here you have an option that you can add on new developments. You can give lot of new examples. You can quote new debate which is technically not possible to go in the thought part. Check out those who score very high in political science. Most of them, not all of them, most of them score maximum, maximum marks in paper 2 in compared to paper 1. So why this paper 2 is more scoring than paper 1? Again, because paper 1 is a very much stagnant. Paper 2 is very much dynamic. Even in your political science paper 1, compare thought and theory. Theory is relatively dynamic than the thought. Relatively dynamic than the thought. Main ek aur add kar look at the numbers of the thinkers and their views and ideas and look at the theories. In that also you can find it is easy to prepare. Theories may ho sakta log ka aapko chota hissa prepare karna pade. Lekin when you have to write about the log, you need to know in and out about the log. That is why theory is always scoring in comparison to the thoughts. This is one, I mean we are just discussing some very basic things. That, was, that is why I said that there is a score high. And when it comes to the Indian political thought, ancient India is always scoring in comparison to the modern Indian thinkers. Point is guys, scoring high is not only about knowledge. How you strategize and how you write your answer. That is equally important. Now here you can see, these are the three sections. Here my suggestion is that if you want any refer, want to refer some book also, although this micro notes and these notes are going to be enough, but still if someone is full of energy, willing to study more, then I would say go with the, some simplified book. I can recommend you, Brian Nelson is very good, without any doubt very good. Humko samaj mein ek bar mein aayegi ki nahi aayegi. Pehli bar mein aayegi ki nahi aayegi. That is what the most important aspect. There are a range of the good books. But you should go, agar aap khud se padna chaate hain, to pehli wo kitab padhiye, jo baut simple or easy language mein likhi gai hai. That is why I recommend most of the time it is O.P. Gawa. That is the best book. The reason being is that wide coverage of the syllabus and it has been written in a very simple and easy way. You may not find lot of analysis, but that will work for you to develop a good understanding of that subject. And after that, if you wish, go for the Brian Nelson. Lekin pehli kitab Brian Nelson nahi ho sakti. Language ka knowledge, subject ke knowledge mein help nahi karta hai. This is the confusion. Those who are good with the English, if they think that ki they'll understand what Brian Nelson has written, I would say this is, this is not a right approach. You may be having good knowledge of language, but what interpretations are there, that is not possible. So, go with the easy book, that will help. Iske alawa one A me, padhne ke liye aur kuch karne ki zarurat nahi. That is enough. Second important aspect to score high is a practice, writing practice. Writing practice. Ye bhai regularly honi chahiye. That is the regular writing practice. Without this, kuch nahi ho sakta. Agar ye samaj mein aara hai, ki pehle ek bar padh lenge, sab samaj lenge, phir ja ke likh denge. This is a rare phenomenon. 
whenever you are studying whenever you are going with the subject then try to write if you cannot write at that time at least make frame ki bhai koi bhi py ki utha kar ke previous year questions mat likho but itna to likho ki isme kya kya likha jayega don't write the answer but at least write what has to be written in this and the best frame if you can write it so again this writing practice after completion of the course then you have again four months fir wo apna edge aap kho rahe hain to agar aapko edge chahiye to aap parallelly thoda thoda hi likhiye aur one more thing aisa kabhi nahi hoga ki first day you will be prepared for writing answer most of the student have this fear jab bhi main unse kehta hu answer likh ke lao sir thoda aur pad lu aur yaad kar lu kya main kitab dekh ke likh sakta hu this is not the way whenever you are going to write it is not going to be a perfect answer in very first writing it is never going to be a perfect answer that is a gradual process and it can further grow so with this small small answers i allow my students to write one or two questions itne dher sare papers mein likh ke log dete rehte the that process is a part and parcel where you can consolidate although mera observation ye hai ki pehle ek dad maine energy high hai to bahut sare paper aate the main bhi pareshan ho jata tha check karte karte aur mains ka time hota hai to pressure bahut zyada rehta hai aur aakhri mein bolna padta hai koi likha hai kya bhai this goes like this initially everyone but if someone is consistent zyada nahi week mein char question panch question that will help there is nothing like ek saath test series but if you go with this approach then it is fine now finally come to the test series test series is not all about to test your knowledge test series when we organize for the mains examination that is all about to how you how you frame and write your knowledge in such a way that you can score very high that is what the key is kitne acche se aap answer likhe ki aap bahut acha score kar sakte hain kisi ko agar lagta hai ki test series se hum writing skill develop kar lenge time taking process hai test series is a secondary part of this this is how one can go for high scoring one more thing jab hum paper 1 ki baat karte hain whenever we talk about paper 1 bhai iska weightage sirf itna hi hai 250 marks aur agar paper 1 mein section a ki baat karte hain iska weightage 125 marks ka hai iska matlab hai batane ka this is another major problem with the students if they prepare for 6 month 3 and 1/2 month is for paper 1 section 1 this is a disbalanced approach aapko paper 1 section 1 se paper 1 se char hi question aane hain aur us char mein question number 1 aur uske alawa ek hi question kar sakte hain technically you cannot cross that aap bahut zyada koshish kar lenge to is section se out of 5 you can attempt of 3 questions but just think of that you are spending 50% or more than 50% of time for preparation of paper 1 just that is a bad idea and the bad approach paper utha kar dekhiye question number first is mandatory then max you can go for two questions to aapko bahut acche se prepare hai to kitna question kar loge teen question what about two question igp se karna hi karna hai so that cannot be the approach 50% to there should be there should be i would not say ki equal importance to every section but definitely i would say that you should allot a time in more or less more or less in equal way if we want to go for 2 months for paper 1 it is fine but 3 and 1/2 month is not advisable this is another reason the score is relatively less ke paper 2 or igp is the most ignored part now we are moving to the paper 2 
पेपर वन सॉरी पेपर वन एंड पार्ट बी इट हैज अ थ्री पार्ट दिस इज रिलेटेड टू नेशनल मूवमेंट हाउ वी प्रिपेयर हमको लगता है कि जीएस में हिस्ट्री पढ़े हैं यहां हम इसका इस्तेमाल कर लेंगे आई वुड से इफ यू गो लाइक दिस प्रिपेयर हियर इट विल हेल्प यू इन जीएस हिस्ट्री सेकेंड पार्ट है इसका ऑल दो टॉपिक रिलेटेड टू द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन लाइक फंडामेंटल राइट डी पी एस पी जुडिशरी पार्लियामेंट दैट इज कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन ज्यादातर लोगों को लगता है लक्ष्मीकांत इज फाइन फॉर दिस आई डोंट थिंक लक्ष्मीकांत इज मोर पीटी ओरियंटेड कुछ नहीं हो सकता बेसिक फाउंडेशन तो जानना है बट फॉर दिस टॉपिक अपार्ट फ्रॉम एनी बुक ऑन बेसिक कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन वन शुड गो फॉर द अप्लाइड पार्ट वेन इट कम टू द अप्लाइड पार्ट मीन्स वन शुड बी नोइंग अबाउट केसेस नोइंग अबाउट फैक्टर्स नोइंग अबाउट outcomes implement uh, outcomes without this you cannot write and that is the content of the mains it is one of the most ignored section of political science in the preparation then one of the reason ki igp ko kisi tarah se kaam chalaya jata hai this is another reason ki one cannot score high ye jo bahut sare log they they think that ki uh, writing two three mains and they are not able to score one of the reason is a disbalance and not having the correct material for this part my suggestion is always again i have developed my own notes there will be micro notes but you have another option also one can think of to the igno material it is very finely written material is there and third part is a politics part politics part means i am talking about political parties i am talking about social movements i am talking about pressure groups this is all part of this in all these three sections this is most scoring part good material is also available ऑन दीज पार्ट और सिर्फ तीन टॉपिक में दिया हुआ है ये सिर्फ तीन टॉपिक में जब हम प्रिपेयर करते हैं हमको लगता है कि ये वाला पार्ट है लक्ष्मीकांत पढ़े काम कर जाएगा और करेंट अफेयर्स के या कुछ मैगजीन के कुछ कुछ नोट्स वोट लेके या फिर आर्टिकल पढ़ करके हमको लगता है इट मे वर्क माई सजेशन इज अदरवाइज वॉन्ट टू रियली स्कोर गुड फोकस ऑन दिस पार्ट एंड चेक आउट द पेपर यूल फाइंड आउट इन आई जी पी सेक्शन in igp section if you want to attempt three question or two question the maximum question belong to this section there will be always one question from this part if someone is able to prepare these two parts properly even properly can get two questions easily but again i am saying nobody focus on this part ye constitution ko karke lagta hai ki this is going to work but technically this all three sections should be prepared separately and this should be prepared in such a way ki aapka gs ka part jo hai in dono ka mix part hota hai that will help in your gs part also aur sabse limited study material chahiye hota sabse limited study material you need not to have more books i would say that one notes one bundle notes or one book is enough to have all these ab national movement mein do topic hain if i'll say ek hai usme approaches to the national movement three to five pages notes and every year there is a one question from that particular part my point is that this is how you can strategize if you're looking to score high so it is not just ki aankh band karke yaad kiye ja rahe hain there is another way to strategize ki okay in igp section just 10 to 15 pages notes are there we can for the national movement that may work for us just three topics uske andar bifurcated chote chote topics hain 
politics even if this two are well prepared and you are already prepared in gs part then you add on some more thing it will help in gs part also and your igp part basically this is the most ignored part but most easy way to prepare is pe kaam nahi kiya gaya hai is pe padha nahi gaya hai and the reason is ke pehla section jab hum western political thought ko uthate hain to 4 mahina 3 mahina usi mein chala jata hai to fir lagta hai ki acha ab jaldi se optional khatam karna hai to fir ab jaldi jaldi sab cheeze khatam kar de to my suggestion is that this balance has to be there when it come to paper 2 when it come to paper 2 in paper 2 there is 2a again reorganization is required reorganization if you want to study topic 1 approaches to international relations it is not going to work first you should be able to know the basics of international relations basic terminologies and the meaning so actually there are a topic in which basics has been given like what is or the topic is like this what is international system what is balance of power what is power what is national power these are very basic thing i guess topic number 6 this is not written in topic number 1 without knowing what is international system aap aage badh hi nahi sakte ho agar aise chote se hum baat karte hain what is international system and i ask this terrorist group terror groups are part of the international system or not only nation states are part of it or not are are in what about the international organization are they part of this one are what about uh, 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 transnational groups what about mnc do we count them as a part of international system these are the very basic things do you understand that they are the major factors or major determinants or major player in international relations isko samajhne ke liye sabse pehle aapko pata hona chahiye what is international system the moment you come to know ki yes nation states are there international organizations are there from liberal point of view even uh, 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 transnational actors are there even realists believe ki terror should terrorist group should be included then you will be e easy to understand jaise agar afghanistan ko aapko samajhna hai agar aap terrorism ko international system ka part nahi manoge you will be never able to analyze afghanistan properly because they आर द मेजर प्लेयर इन द रीजन आर दे हैव इम्पैक्ट तो सबसे बेसिक काम ये है वॉट इज वॉट द बेसिक्स इज देर बी ओ पी पावर नेशनल पावर ये समझना दिस इज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट देन देर इज अ टॉपिक ऑफ थीरीज ऑफ इंटरनेशनल रिलेशन थीरीज ऑफ इंटरनेशनल रिलेशन इन विच in your slaves it is just a realism idealist marxism is there but i discussed in my class liberalism also and some more part which is not actually mentioned in your slaves ek reason aur bhi hai upsc ka jo slaves aakhri baar revise hua tha wo 2000 mein hua tha imagine 2012 में स्कीम बदली थी पॉलिटिकल साइंस का सिलेबस सारे ऑप्शनल का सिलेबस सेम रख दिया गया था उसमें चेंजेस नहीं लाए गए थे बट यूपीएससी कंसिस्टेंटली आस्क मेनी टॉपिक्स व्हिच इज नॉट मेंशन इन द सिलेबस तो थोड़ा हम लोगों को भी अपने तरीके से सिलेबस को अपग्रेड करना पड़ता है देर आर लॉट ऑफ न्यू थिंग्स आर देयर एंड वी हैव टू गो थ्रू दिस सो ये पॉइंट आप समझिए वॉट आई डू आई एड ऑन many topics which is not part of the syllabus the reason being is that upsc consistently ask and this we do in paper 1 also ab jab yahan se jayenge to aapko ek detailed syllabus milega bahar in which i mean like it's not just a three pages syllabus it is 7 8 10 pages syllabus in all topics has been bifurcated in a small small topics so you should be 
able to understand the maximum periphery of the subject. कि सब्जेक्ट की मैक्सिमम पेरिफेरी क्या है उतना पढ़ने की जरूरत नहीं पड़ती है बट यू शुड बी एबल टू नो एंड दीज बुकलेट्स आर कवरिंग द एंटायर पार्ट ऑफ द सिलेबस व्हाट आई कॉल इट माइक्रो सिलेबस आप बाहर जाएंगे तो मिल जाएगा आपको वो माइक्रो सिलेबस और ये बुकलेट इज मैचिंग विच इन इन टर्म्स ऑफ कंटेंट सो यू बी एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड लॉट ऑफ न्यू टॉपिक्स विच इज नॉट मैंशन इन सिलेबस एंड वॉट वी डू इन आर क्लास इज पार्ट ऑफ इट Then, as I am saying, reorganization. अभी मैं आपको कितना reorganization बताऊंगा इसमें बहुत सारे topics ऐसे हैं जिनको कि rather than studying in 2A, they are more fit with the part of 2B. या तो आप उसको 2A में पढ़ लो या 2B में पढ़ लो Let me give one example. जैसे non-alignment, non-alignment topic is in 2A also and it is in 2B also. There is no point to read two times. Go. at one time let me add on apart from this non alignment there is a regional organization ab usme to regional organization nafta bhi diya hua hai aapke syllabus mein nafta khatam ho chuka hai there is no nafta existing but in your syllabus nafta is there usme wo iraq ki probably purani problems di hui gulf war ke samay ka iraq diya hua hai now it is not iraq things has been shifted and changed so reorganization is required which i have done and and as i am talking about in 2a there are many topics jaise regional organization 2a me diya hai 2b me diya but foreign policy is in 2b and regional organization in 2a but if you see the connection between foreign policy and regional organization then regional organization is a platform to pursue your foreign policies so without understanding basic foreign policy if i will tell you ki asean is there this much of members are there but one i'll teach you what is actist policy and then i talk about asean it make more sense this is one of the reason jab aap line by syllabus padhte ho to wo 8 mahine 10 mahine chala jata hai jab usse reorganize karke padhna chahte ho to it will be finished in a very particular timeline and it will be logically connected to each other so there are lot of topic we are going to shift from 2a to 2b making it more logical making it more logical this way this reorganization gets complete now one more thing about 2a i would like to say here in topics of the 2a in topics of the 2a without any theoretical references without any theoretical references your answers cannot be ever completed ye theoretical references ka hona bahut zaruri hota hai second ye jo concept hain jaise bop ka concept hai balance of power ka concept hai now when we discuss india china relationship i guess quad ke bare mein sare log sune what is quad now and and there is a uh, akas also have you heard about suppose we are writing about quad and the moment you talk about quad is all about symbol of balance of power but the moment you say the quad is more designed to ensure soft balance of power not balance of power soft balance of power and akas is all about for the hard balance of power your answer enter into a different zone that is why these technical words has a lot of meaning contemporary contemporary theory of bop a symmetric balance balance of power system this uh, a soft balance of power system and hard balance of power hard balance old concept these are two new concept mainly prominent in 2010 or kyun the word is very much into integrated now cold war ke samay the world was disintegrated you can be choose to be part of one group and can avoid all type of interaction with the other groups but nowadays you cannot so we are in integrated world bahut sare example hain on on one hand there is a border clashes between india and china but look at the trade between india and china we talk about there is a, 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 a you can say rivalry between us and china please check their trade balances my point is that in a modern integrated world the balance of power system has transformed and changed now. there are new systems are emerging un sab ko samajh ke while writing just making 
one or two, three line will help you all. So, 2A without the theoretical references, without these things remain a you can say uh, not much scoring. बहुत सारे लोग बोलते हैं कि सर ये IR वाला जो आपका जन स्टडीज है उसमें क्या डिफरेंस है? ये सबसे बड़ा डिफरेंस है. Where you identify basically that theoretical differentiation and you can say the meaning of these concepts. Now I'll I'll come to this part. When it come to 2B, इसके बारे में मुझे थोड़ा बात करनी है. This 2B इसका टॉपिक है India and world. ये सबसे स्मॉल सिलेबस है अगेन स्मॉल सिलेबस क्यों है बिकॉज इफ यू ट्राई टू लुक टेक्निकली थ्रू द इंडियन फॉरेन पॉलिसी देन यू विल बी एबल टू रियलाइज कि व्हाई दिस सिलेबस इज शो शॉर्ट चलिए मैं इसको ऐसे पूछता हूं कि इंडिया एंड चार्ड रिलेशनशिप अब आपको सिलेबस में दिया है इंडिया एंड अफ्रीका so if i say do you need to study india and congo do you need to study india and chad india and nigeria answer is no the moment you look into indian foreign policy aur jaise hi aapko samajh mein aaya ki indian approach towards africa is a multilateral approach or predominant multilateral approach rather than bilateral approach to aapko turant samajh mein aa gaya ki we have to study only india and Africa as a whole, rather than India are bilateral with any Africa, we need not to study this one. So, sabse pehle, if you know this basics, you will be easily short your syllabus. Ye bahut saare log kehte hain ki paper 2 mein to kitne saare bilateral relations padne hain. I would say nothing like this. In paper 2, you need to study only those bilateral relations which exists predominantly in the Indian foreign policy. Baki ki zorat nahi hai. And aap chaho to isko check karo. Main aapko aise hi bata raho. In last 10 year, you can count on your fingers ki bilateral relations means 10 to 12 countries. Kabhi iske bahar sawal poochha hi nahi. Poochha ga bhi nahi. If core of the Indian foreign policy is in Indo-Pacific region or the core of the Indian foreign policy in South Asian region, they are not going to ask India, Brazil or India, Argentina. India, Latin America pe nahi. So, sabse pehle, yeh slavers ka joh reorganization karna hai, woh thoda alag tarah se karna hai. Just through the frame of the Indian foreign policy. Then you can easily set the priority. Yeh sabse predictable area hota hai. Malab, Everyone, I mean, those who are into the, into the uh, I mean, teaching field or those who are into the subject, they know that top priority of the Indian foreign policy is Indo-Pacific region. So, high probability with the Japan, high probability with the US, with the Quad, you can easily identify. With Japan, with US, with Russia, you can easily identify. When it comes to, like, India has a look west policy also. But we know that in look west policy there is no need to read about India and Qatar. In Indian foreign policy only three country figures out that is Israel, Iran and Saudi Arabia. Please check paper. Aaj tak sare sawal chahe GS mein ho, chahe optional mein ho, Iran pe, Israel pe sabse yada, uske baad Iran pe. Iske bahar nahi aane wala hai. Is bar there is a West Asian quad I2, U2 was a new formation, they had other question. My point is that you can you can change the syllabus. You can basically redesign the syllabus in a very logical and a sequential manner. Now, tell us that you can tell us that you can tell us that you can tell us So, now, guys, here in India and world, you can find one division of topic that is related to basics of Indian foreign policy. In this basics of Indian foreign policy, in your slavers, yehi dohi topic diya hua hai. Determinant of foreign policy. Dusra foreign policy making institution. And third is 
कंटिन्यूटी एंड चेंज ये आपके सिलेबस में दिया है मैंने नोट्स में भी ऐड किया और मैं पढ़ाता भी हूं बेसिक इंडियन फॉरेन पॉलिसी इन विच वी टॉक अबाउट नेहरू एन फॉरेन पॉलिसी स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम नेहरू एन फॉरेन पॉलिसी इंदिरा डॉक्ट्रेन then we talk about in case of sri lanka hands of policy there is a range of the policy because with this policy you will be able to understand in which area you have to focus varna aapko pata nahi chalne wala jaise if you know neighborhood first policy the moment you know neighborhood first policy you'll know ki which country should be focused and that also set the guideline कि हाउ वी शुड इंटरेक्ट मैं एक छोटा एग्जांपल दे रहा हूं आपके नेबरहुड पॉलिसी में लिखा है इंडिया विल फॉलो द पॉलिसी ऑफ नॉन इंटरवेंशन इन नेबरिंग स्टेट और क्वेश्चन आपसे पूछ लिया देर इज अ क्राइसिस इन योर नेबर व्हाट इंडिया शुड डू सो यू कैन नॉट राइट बेसिकली यू विल इंटरवीन इन दैट जैसे अभी पाकिस्तान के बारे में चल रहा था कि पाकिस्तान इज एंटरिंग इन टू अकोनॉमिक क्राइसिस दिस इज द राइट टाइम टू टेक द पाक ऑक्यूपाइड कश्मीर आज दिस इज यही न्यूज में यही चल रहा था आर वी शुड टेक अप द पाकिस्तान लेकिन जो आपकी नेबरहुड पॉलिसी है वो ऐसा नहीं मानती है तो आप जब देखिए ये आपस में चर्चा करने के लिए अच्छा है बट एग्जाम में लिखने के लिए इट इज अ बिग मिस्टेक एंड इट इज अगेंस्ट द फॉरेन पॉलिसी इट कुड बी अ पोलिटिकल ओपिनियन इट इज नॉट अकेडमिक ओपिनियन गॉट माई पॉइंट तो वो आपको तभी समझ में आएगा जब आपको बेसिक्स पता हो फॉरन पॉलिसी so once you know the basic foreign policy apne aap aapko samajh mein aayega the core area of the indian foreign policy humko pata chal gaya neighborhood hai indo pacific hai then uh, 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 indian ocean region hai this is top priority in the indian foreign policy then we find it is a west asia then we find it is africa last mein aa gaya latin america so in case of africa only india africa in case of latin america only india latin america you know the core content in case of latin america more or less we looking for the energy so india's energy diplomacy towards the latin america i bet agar india latin america pe sawal aata hai to that will be more surrounded around the idea of the energy and trade they are not talking about strategic cooperation defense cooperation hai hi nahi hai puchenge hi nahi so if they ask about this question it is fixed ki wo kiske sath pucha jayega dekhiye they may ask with the japan they may ask it with the us they are not going to ask it with the saudi arabia even india saudi arabia defense relationship that is going to be more centered around trade or that is going to be more centered around uh, 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 a newly made this i2 u2 or west asian quad so this basic understanding help you to reorganize the entire syllabus jisko technically main class mein 20 din mein khatam kar sakta hu aap apne class mein padh kar ke ek mahina 10 din this is enough with the practice and most scoring part i am naming it there are students with the name i am talking about like when i talk about rishabh mandal this guy in paper 2 150 plus there was a uh, vikas meena this guy score 171 in paper 2 there was a uh, 44th ranker girl some uh, from punjab she scored 319 overall and in paper 2 her score was 167 there was a range of the people who score very high in paper 2 aur paper 2 mein jo high score ka content hota hai wo is part se aata hai basically so again if you are looking to score high it is not just reading strategizing is one of the most important way last cheez main iske bare mein aapko bataunga this is keywords and various dimensions of foreign policy various dimensions of foreign policy this is what the edge you can get it jaise pehle to humne syllabus ko reorganize kar liya now we are reading about for example reading of india and relationship with the other country it is important to know that ki in which theoretical paradigm indian foreign policy is approaching to that particular country let me tell you कोई यूनिफॉर्म थ्योरिटिकल पैराडाइम नहीं होता है कि इंडिया फॉलो ओनली रियलिस्ट पॉलिसी वी मे फॉलो 
may be on a border classes a, poli a policy of realism but we we follow the policy of trade in other field agar ye aap clearly identify kar lete hain ki where this realism rare where this realism exist where this liberalism exist you will be able to you know pin on the right part that is why this reference of various theoretical dimensions are very important as i said earlier in keywords these keywords are equally important like keywords balance of power when we talk about jaise uh, iran hai so if you talk about iran holds strategic importance for india But the moment you write iran holds geo economic importance for india that makes the core of the indian foreign policy iran humko chahiye do purpose ke liye we can connect with the central asia because it is the only way to move into the central asia that is the core importance that is why chhabar and many other projects are there so when you write geo, geo economics ka matlab ye hota hai ki using the geographical point of uh, uh, geographical positioning of a country connecting it to the economically so the core importance of iran is more in geo economics uska geopolitical importance bhi hai that is in terms of maintaining the uh, relation with the shia groups basically in the west asian politics sirf ek term aapka examiner ko bata dega ki you pick the core of the foreign policy that is why this keywords are very much important and its various dimension of the foreign policy is important guys as i was talking about in india and world this is the first s matlab first bifurcation of the syllabus बेसिक्स ऑफ द इंडियन फॉरेन पॉलिसी इसके ये तीनों टॉपिक प्रिपेयर करने हैं तीनों टॉपिक में वेरियस डायमेंशन फॉरेन पॉलिसी के जानने हैं और कीवर्ड जानना है अब इसके अलावा क्या क्या होता है लाइक सेकेंड पार्ट बेसिक्स ऑफ द इंडियन फॉरेन पॉलिसी के बाद बायोलेट्रल रिलेशन सिलेबस मैंने दिया हुआ है लेकिन लिमिटेड बायोलेट्रल रिलेशन पढ़ने होते हैं आपको सारे बायोलेटर रिलेशन पढ़ने की जरूरत नहीं होती और विल गो इन टू डीप ऑल्सो लाइक कि व्हेन यू आर स्टार्टिंग इंडिया पाकिस्तान सो डेवलपमेंट इन पाकिस्तान हैज टू बी स्टडी बट व्हेन यू आर स्टार्टिंग इंडिया एंड यू कैन से एनी यूरोपियन कंट्री इंडिया एंड फ्रांस सो वी नीड नॉट टू स्टडी इफ द चेंज ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट इन फ्रांस बट इफ द चेंज ऑफ गवर्नमेंट इन नेपाल इज देयर चेंज ऑफ गवर्नमेंट इन बांग्लादेश इज देयर दैट इज इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर इंडिया हाउ कम इट इज because we know ki in nepal if the nepali congress will come this is going to help our indian relationship is going to get consolidation in bangladesh two political parties are there awami league and bangladesh nationalist party awami league ke sath traditional relationship achhi hai lekin jaise hi bnp aayegi relationship is going to be strained my point is this ki when you studying south asia even you are focusing on change of the government लेकिन जैसे ही हम यूरोप पढ़ रहे हैं वी आर नॉट बॉदरिंग अबाउट द चेंज ऑफ ये छोटी छोटी बातें हैं ये आपके पूरे सिलेबस को कम कर देती हैं और फोकल पॉइंट दे देती हैं कि इसमें हमको क्या पढ़ना है सो लिमिटेड बायोलेटर रिलेशन लिमिटेड बायोलेटर रिलेशन वी हैव टू स्टडी नॉर्मली द बिगेस्ट प्रॉब्लम ऑफ दिस टॉपिक मोस्ट ऑफ द स्टूडेंट डू वॉट दे डू एंटायर प्रिपरेशन ऑफ द इंडियन फॉरन पॉलिसी is focused and centered around bilateral relationship 60 to 70% preparation of the student is there sab so, yahin pe focus kar dete hain please check the upsc question paper iske kam se kam char dimension hai aur har dimension pe barabar sawal aate hain point is that you can't give more than 30% of your time to bilateral relationship 60% time is pe dete hain That is one of the major strategic mistake. सवाल आपको मिलेगा दो बहुत मुश्किल से Now, my opinion, even 10% of the time for this topic is enough. Paper उठाइए हर साल एक सवाल है इससे They'll always ask determinants of the Indian foreign policy. They talk about the role of NSA. Sometimes they'll talk about the role of Parliament. Sometimes they talk about the role of think tanks in determination of foreign policy. They'll talk about. और ये सवाल इन तीनों में से एक सवाल आपके पास होना है 
ये उसका दूसरा पार्ट है नाउ थर्ड इज इंटरनेशनल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इसमें भी नहीं पढ़ते हम अगेन दिस इज द एरिया एटलीस्ट टेन परसेंट ऑफ द टाइम आर टेन टू ट्वेंटी परसेंट ऑफ द टाइम शुड बी गिवेन आप सिलेबस अपना उठा के देखें आई एम एफ वर्ल्ड बैंक यूनाइटेड नेशन इसके अलावा कोई कुछ नहीं पढ़ता है इंडियन फॉरेन पॉलिसी इन यू एन इंडियन कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन इन यू एन ये वाला पार्ट बट मस्ट गो फॉर रीजनल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन वो डायरेक्टली आपके सिलेबस में नहीं दिए हुए हैं लेकिन प्लीज चेक आउट द क्वेश्चन पेपर ऑफ फाइव ईयर्स आपको बहुत सारा जैसे ब्रिक्स एस सी ओ एंड मेनी अदर्स इन टू बी इन टू बी एक्सेप्ट यूनाइटेड नेशन दीज टॉपिक्स आर नॉट प्री डोमिनेंटली मैं बट इफ यू चेक द क्वेश्चन यू कैन फाइंड आउट दीज टॉपिक्स आर देर इसलिए ये टॉपिक क्लास में पढ़ाए जाते हैं बिकॉज दे आर क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम दिस एरिया और इसका चौथा और आखिरी पार्ट इसके सिलेबस का है दैट इज मेजर पावर्स एंड मेजर इंटरनेशनल इश्यूज जैसे इफ मेजर पावर्स एंड मेजर इंटरनेशनल इशू एक साल पूछा है चाइनीज फॉरेन पॉलिसी एंड यूएस फॉरेन पॉलिसी वंस दे आस्क अबाउट नॉर्थ कोरिया एंड मेजर इश्यूज सो दैट इज वाई यू शुड बी नोइंग अबाउट दिस पार्ट इज दिस इज वॉट द एंटायर टू बी इज सो द की इज वॉट फॉर द टू बी इज री ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ऑफ द सिलेबस एंड यू आर एबल टू नो अबाउट ऑल दीज सेक्शन एंड यू शुड बी एबल टू गिव प्रॉपर टाइम ये मेजर पावर्स के लिए भी इफ यू कैन गिव टेन परसेंट ऑफ द टाइम then you will be able to prepare it 90% of the student focus on topic 1 aur baki sab yahan kharch ho jata hai i would suggest that go for these two topics aapki preparation aur taiyari dono aasan ho now it has become very easy for you basically and you will be able to score high so understanding the syllabus is the key is the key अदरवाइज इंटरप्रिटेशन की कोई लिमिट नहीं है सब्जेक्ट्स की सो गाइज आई एम डन फ्रॉम माई साइड इफ यू आर विलिंग टू आस्क एनी क्वेश्चन यू कैन आस्क टू जोर से ओके दिस इज अ वेरी गुड क्वेश्चन कि न्यूज पेपर को कैसे पढ़ना है पीएसआर के लिए वैसे ये मैंने प्रॉब्लम सॉल्व कर दी है एवरी मंथ आई रिलीज अ मैगजीन फॉर पी एस आई आर नेम इज पोलिटिको एनालिसिस गूगल पे डालेंगे आ जाएगा पोलिटिको एनालिसिस दिस मैगजीन कवर ऑल करेंट अफेयर्स विद द पर्पज ऑफ द पी एस आई आर आप रोज न्यूज पेपर पढ़े उससे अच्छा वो मैगजीन पढ़ लें दैट विल ऑल द न्यू डेवलपमेंट इज देयर इन द मैगजीन इनफैक्ट इन मैगजीन वी पब्लिश ऑल्सो book reviews also which can be used directly in your answers dekhiye gs aur psar ke answer writing mein bilkul fark hai jo journal studies hai that answer writing is more of fact plus concept oriented and there is no theoretical interpretation is required but in psar this conceptual clarity and theoretical understanding is one of the major part of it so technically it is not the same it is different anyone else is willing okay so ha huh. 
हाँ ये एक बड़ा इंपॉर्टेंट सवाल है जनरल स्टडीज में हमारे लिए करंट अफेयर्स एक साल का होता है लेकिन पॉलिटिकल साइंस के लिए करंट अफेयर्स का मतलब एक साल का नहीं होता है दिस इज वॉट द मीनिंग इज प्लीज अंडरस्टैंड दिस लाइन अ वेरी गुड क्वेश्चन हैज बीन आस्ट दिस इज ऑलवेज अ प्राइम क्वेश्चन ऑफ द स्टूडेंट सर वो आई तो बदल जाता है प्लीज आई नहीं बदलता है लेट लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड दिस देर इज फंडामेंटल्स of foreign policy this is the core without understanding this fundamentals of foreign policy you won't be able to write answer properly ab this fundamentals of foreign policy implementation part is basically current affairs ek chote se example se bata de raha hu aapko jaise Our fundamental to West Asia foreign policy towards West Asia is energy security. Energy security, सबको समझ में आ रहा है We need oil from the West Asia. अब in order to get energy security, there may be visits, there may be conferences, there may be treaties. तो change क्या हो रहा है ये change हो रहा है ये चेंज नहीं हो रहा पिछले 1990 से लेके अब तक फ्रॉम लास्ट 22 इयर्स एनर्जी सिक्योरिटी ऑक्यूपाइज सेंटर आर कोर ऑफ द इंडियन फॉरेन पॉलिसी टुवर्ड्स वेस्ट एशिया सो प्लीज डू अंडरस्टैंड दिस वन सो व्हेन यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द करंट अफेयर्स सो द करंट अफेयर्स व्हिच इज एक्सप्लेनिंग अ पर्टिकुलर इवेंट एंड a article which is explaining a foreign policy it is two different thing jaise maan liya jaye ki ek visit hui aur usme ek oil pe agreement sign hua to aapne ek article padha which it is which is talking about ki why energy security is important that article is important lekin us article ka maximum content hai ki hum duniya mein kahan kahan se oil lete hain ya humko kaun oil dega kaun kitne percentile deta hai uska koi matlab nahi so when we talk about current affairs in international relations we connect it to the basic foreign policy har current affairs ka article aapko padhne ki zarurat nahi hoti hai matlab every day there is a article jaise chhota sa example hai abhi ukraine war chal raha hai mujhe lag raha hai pichle 1 saal 8 mahine se har alternative day par ek na ek article kitna article aap padhenge but there are very rare article which is connected with the india's stand in ukraine wo aapke liye zaruri hai india's policy towards russia and ukraine wo article aapke liye zaruri hai to current affairs ka matlab hai ki connect that current affairs article with the basics of the indian foreign policy and read it that अदरवाइज तो हिंदी में और हिंदू में रोज दो तीन आर्टिकल होंगे इंडियन एक्सप्रेस में दो तीन आर्टिकल होंगे और इतनी सारी वेबसाइट है उस पर आर्टिकल होंगे कितना पढ़ेंगे आप टेक्निकली दैट इज नॉट पॉसिबल सो वेन एवर वी टॉक अबाउट करंट अफेयर्स वी से करंट अफेयर्स इन दैट सेंस नाउ वेन इट कम टू द टाइम लाइन टाइम लाइन इज नॉट वन ईयर फॉर पी एस आई आर दिस टाइम लाइन गोज टू टू थ्री ईयर्स फॉर पी एस आई आर कभी कभी they and and why they ask jaise main ek chhota example de raha hu 5 years back the russian president visited to india and they signed a very important agreement that transformed the nature of the indian foreign policy now the same agreement has been implemented after 3 years isliye wo important ho jata hai my point is the range is of the 3 years but again you have to look into the core of the indian foreign policy and that is why i release that magazine so mai randomly हर आर्टिकल नहीं होता बट दो आर्टिकल्स विच इज रिलेटेड टू द फॉरेन पॉलिसी दो आर्टिकल्स विच इज कनेक्टेड टू योर टॉपिक इज पब्लिश बेसिकली सो दिस इज हाउ यू कैन कवर इट फाइन गाइज नथिंग अगर आप किताब पढ़ के आएंगे तो फिर मैं क्या करूंगा सो so, टेक्निकली मैं पढ़ के आऊंगा आपको कुछ नहीं पढ़ के आना है आपको सिर्फ प्रिपेयर होके आना है यू हैव टू कंसंट्रेट इन क्लास यू हैव टू आस्क लॉट ऑफ क्वेश्चन इन द क्लास यू हैव टू डिस्कस एंड अंडरस्टैंड गाइस पेपर वन ए और टू ए दोनों पेपर ऐसा है
कि विदाउट डाउट सेशन आस्किंग लॉर्ड ऑफ क्वेश्चन इन क्लास वो कंप्लीट नहीं हो सकता है ये वन वे हो सकता है कि मैं एक लाइन में आपको चुप करा दू लेकिन द राइट वे इज बिकॉज दो स्पेसिफिकली नॉट हैविंग बैकग्राउंड विदाउट क्लैरिटी आप कितने बार भी मेरा लिखाया हुआ नोट्स पढ़ लें आपको दिक्कत होगी तो वो क्वेश्चन क्लास में पूछना क्लास में डिस्कस करना लेक्चर फॉर्म में आना बहुत जरूरी है कोई किताब पढ़ के मत आइए अगर फिर भी कुछ कोई पढ़ना चाहता थोड़ा वर्ल्ड हिस्ट्री पढ़ लीजिए मे बी समाइम्स आई गिव रेफरेंस तो मैं कहां से रेफरेंस दे रहा हूं आपको समझ में आ जाएगा बाकी कुछ पढ़ने की जरूरत नहीं और पेपर वन ए तो बिल्कुल नहीं पढ़ना है वेस्टर्न पोलिटिकल थिंकर बिल्कुल नहीं पढ़ करके आना है अदरवाइज एरिस्टोटल बोल कुछ रहा होगा आपको समझ में कुछ और आने वाला है फिर डोंट गो फॉर एनी थिंग दिस क्लास विल बी एनफ विल बी एनफ बट ओनली थिंग वट आई एक्सपेक्ट की स्टूडेंट शुड बी आस्किंग क्वेश्चन एंड गिविंग टाइम टू द सब्जेक्ट दिस इज वॉट द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट एस्पेक्ट ऑफ इट फाइन अब कंक्लूजन में आई वुड से जस्ट टू थ्री थिंग्स इफ यू आर थिंकिंग ऑफ टू टेकिंग पी एस आई आर एज ए ऑप्शनल डू इट बाई योर बाई योर ओन वे आर मे बी सम अदर वेज यू आर प्लानिंग इट टू डू रिमेंबर ऑलवेज टू थ्री थिंग्स टाइम लाइन इज अ वेरी मच इंपॉर्टेंट अगर आपने टाइम लाइन मिस कर दिया एक साल प्रिपेयर करते रह गए ऑप्शनल तो आप दो साल लेट हो गए अपने सिलेक्शन में दिस इज वेरी क्लियर This timeline is a very important. You have to focus on it. Second important thing, that there are few papers which is purely concept based. Usme koi kitab kam nahi karti hai jab tak ap conceptually usme clear nahi ho jate. For to be even if you study it by the by your own notes, it may work lim for a limited period for you. But for one a without developing a good understanding, it is not going to work. So concept clearance bahut important. तीसरा रेगुलर प्रैक्टिस बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है सिलेबस खत्म करके प्रैक्टिस आप पिक कर सकते हैं बट यू हैव टू पुट अ लॉट थोड़ा अगर पैरेलल करेंगे बिकॉज नाउ यू हैव द टाइम एज यू सेड यू ऑल आर अपेयरिंग फॉर 2024, सो एंटायर फुल ईयर इज यू हैव इन योर हैंड दैट इज वाई गो विद दिस वन इफ यू कैन सिंकोनाइज योर पी एस आई आर प्रिपेरेशन विद जी एस इस सब का इंपैक्ट आपको एग्जाम में दिखाई देगा दिस यूपीएससी इज ऑल अबाउट योर टाइम मैनेजमेंट दिस इज वन ऑफ द इंपॉर्टेंट एस्पेक्ट ऑफ दिस सबके साथ टाइम मैनेजमेंट का इशू ऐसा कुछ रॉकेट साइंस नहीं कि आपको पढ़ के समझ में नहीं आएगा और याद नहीं होगा लेकिन उस साइकिल में याद करना और उस साइकिल तक याद रखना अभी आप कुछ रखोगे तीन महीने बाद गया सो so, ये जो साइकिल है टेन टू ट्वेल्व मंथस का दिस इज द ओनली एरिया अगर इसके बाहर आप निकल गए You are going for the next year. So timeline is very important. During that timeline, you have to remember it. Fine, guys. Uh, normally at the test center of the next IS, I am always available. If anyone want to meet me personally, come and meet me there. Thank you. Thank you to all of you.